Hello my dear friend, welcome, I'm David Cortese and this is my website www.david-cortese.com In this video I want to talk about an important topic the Central Processing Unit So let's start A Central Processing Unit, CPU is the primary component of a computer responsible for executing instructions and processing data. The structure and operation of a CPU can be broken down into several key components and stages. Structure of a CPU Control Unit CU It directs the operation of the processor. It is composed by the instruction decoder and the control signals. Instruction decoder decodes the instructions fetched from memory. Control signals manages and synchronizes the execution of instructions by sending signals to other parts of the CPU and peripherals. Arithmetic Logic Unit ALU It performs arithmetic and logical operations. It is composed by the arithmetic unit and the logic unit. Arithmetic unit handles mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Logic unit handles logical operations like AND, OR, NOT and XOR. Registers. They are small, fast storage locations inside the CPU used to hold temporary data and instructions. General purpose registers are used for a wide range of functions by the CPU during execution. Special purpose registers include the program counter PC, instruction register IR and status register SR. Cache memory. It provides high speed data access to the CPU, reducing the time to fetch data from the main memory. There are different types of cache called L1, L2, L3. L1 cache is the smallest and fastest located closest to the CPU cores. L2 cache is larger but slower than L1, shared between cores. L3 cache is even larger, slower and shared among all cores. Bus interface it connects the CPU to the other components of the computer, such as memory and input-output devices. There are different types of bus, data bus, address bus, control bus. Data bus carries data between the CPU and other components. Address bus carries the addresses of data locations. Control bus carries control signals. How the CPU works Fetch stage The CPU retrieves an instruction from the main memory The address of the instruction is stored in the program counter PC The instruction is loaded into the instruction register IR The code stage The control unit decodes the fetched instruction to understand what action is required the instruction is broken down into its components that are opcode, operation code, and operand, data or memory address. Execute stage. The decoded instruction is executed by the CPU. The ALU performs the required arithmetic or logical operation. Data is uh, read from, from or written to registers, memory or I.O. devices. Write-back stage. The result of the executed instruction 
is written back to the appropriate register or memory location. The CPU prepares for the next instruction by updating the program counter to point uh, to the next instruction in memory. Pipeline and parallelism. Modern CPUs use techniques like pipelining and parallelism to enhance performance. Pipelining allows multiple instructions to be processed simultaneously by dividing uh, the fetch the code execute cycle into stages with uh, each stage handling a different instruction. Superscalar architecture, uh, multiple execution units within the CPU allow for the simultaneous execution of multiple instructions. Hyperthreading HT allows a single CPU core to handle multiple threads of execution concur concurrently, improving multitasking performance. Multicore processors incorporate multiple CPU cores on a single chip enabling parallel processing of instructions and improving overall performance. Conclusion, the CPU is a highly complex and uh, integral part of a computer, coordinating the execution of instructions and the flow of data throughout the system. Its efficiency and speed are crucial to the overall uh, performance of a computer. The combination of various architectural features and techniques enables modern CPUs to handle complex tasks swiftly and efficiently. So for now is everything, thank you for watching, see you next time, bye bye!